What is up, guys? This is part 29 of the Grand Theft Auto 5 series, and today we're going to be doing the final, like the final candy mission of Grand Theft Auto 5. Basically, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do like one episode per um, mission. From in and out. Or I may just not do the um, heist missions. Just end it off with. Just end it off with um, the last two cannon missions. Or am I just doing. Actually, I'll do them. I just want to do the investment parts because I don't know. But yeah, or maybe don't. I don't know. But uh, let's get into the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it, and let's get into this kind of short video. Do 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 do. Alright, guys, let's get this mission going. Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah! But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave <laughs> Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're going to A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, beep, beep. And your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye. Man, fuck. I think we all know what choice we're picking. We're killing Michael. Nah, we're saving them. Cause I like them characters. I am sure. Death wish. Franklin, Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. This slide contains autosave versus I mean, Yes, I'm saving. So, yeah. And we're here, boys. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing, but you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got, so why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the um. Oh, that angry that, um, rich fucker from whatever holy hibernates in. Exactly. <laughs> all right, all right. I say, kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Man, are you for real? You're fucked. You know, I I, I don't know. You know everything, dog. I know, okay, but I. I I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. 
I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, that you boys are at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and BAM! We turn it into a, a bust! I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what they well, want. How far is he? If you guys haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. You guys are brand new to the channel. I'm trying to hit 300, 300% in July. Where we going? We uh heading to the foundry place. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm in. Who wanna clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cast, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we wear about him. We coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your... Shit. Sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga, fuck off. Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want them clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. I heard that. Nigga, I'm talking about you. Everybody in this town want to take a pop at your ass. Look, man, Mike and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you.
Are they seriously about to shoot each other? Shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Clear the building. Watch your sector. Gee, dog, you gotta wait.
Say something! Trevor! There you are! Man, you had me worried! I was a little winded, all right? I took the T.O. It's nice to see you so worked up. Yeah, well, don't do it again. Go, oh, look out! More agents! Change clothes, I know it. What's next? Huh? We're just gonna wait around for someone to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned oh, again, huh? Fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, let me see. There's uh Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No. We need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that triad motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're going to be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. <sighs> Man, Stretch has been a liability. They were gonna have to take care of our old pals Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground, Wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just... Calling for a chat. No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And uh, Wei Ching. W E I C H E N G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man. Look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Shut it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I 
got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. All right, um, I think I'm not gonna do this long ride, so I'm just gonna do Trevor's mission. Let's do Trevor first. anyone else's TP Enterprise main campus all right Ron what's happening Trevor we're undergoing a transition oh yeah I think that Chinese problem might be taken care of and there's money in the bank well, the O'Neills are gone, and the bikers ain't shown up again, so we're rich and at peace. Long as the forces of corporate darkness don't identify us as a threat, there's nothing to hold us back. Yeah, I guess we're all out of excuses. Yeah, he told me to move. Probably because he's right there. I'm gonna take out a stretch. There's a little basketball who's painting. Disrespectful ass motherfuckers trying to break the order of things. Please, pair of bitches. Only pair of bitches that stretch tolerate are the ones that worked this pole last night. I got a message from your homies, Lamar and Franklin. Hey, who this shaky forgive me? Hey man, he got stretched. You know what? And roll on his ass. Hey, homeboy. Oh wow. Bunch of people come my way. Let's go. Oh boy, you better get your boy shot. You better get your boy shot, boy. Ah. Look at that. Guess what? Down here. Yeah. Come on, bro. You know what? Last week, last week, gonna be rich. I said no. I'm clear. Your pal Stretch, he ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? We got Wei Chang and Agent Haynes on the list. All right, who we doing next? How we doing, Chang? All right. I think we all know what I'm gonna do. Do I have any stickies? Yeah, I do it too. Okay. I'm pretty hey. sure he should be in that middle car. The old man's here. He's leaving the beach. That was him. Hey, I got out clean. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming after you. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's next? What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt. He's Steve Haynes next. Man, I should get his mouth shut. Literally, guys, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna park.
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna park like this. So if I have to get out there quickly, I'm gonna, okay, I'll be able to. I think there should be like. Hey, I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this frame right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. So, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. This is Los Santos. A si Mix. And this... Sometimes his dreams turn into nightmares. Stop! Cut! Cut. Oh, God, that's a cliche, man. Dreams. <clears throat> hey, that's a cliche. What? No, I know it's really good. Just do a cutaway. No, I'll, I'll pick it up. No, I'll pick it up. I got something good. Ready? <clears throat> Rolling. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you... Oh, my God! <laughs> His name is shot him. Lester, I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devon Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, the Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll go up there and get him. All right, see you guys when we get there, boys. We are here, guys. Basically, we have to kill these guys. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. All right, that should be easy. Between you and the EO! I'll find! 
find you! Ah! Alvarado down! Throw Come on, we got this! I'm getting kind of bored of killing... You press. You dark man! You can't hide forever! We got a man down! And we are from the foundry team! Come out! Well, they're about to find out why they haven't heard from the foundry team. Real Take quick. Down. How much does this asshole pay you? I hope it was worth it! Oops, a daisy. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy. Let's do this correct the, the correct way. Attack is up! Hey, buddy. Wait, wait, hear me out. <clears throat> no more talking. I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go! You're looking at it rationally! There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go! Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. 
This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team! Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a stick and give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You creepy bum! You're a dead man. Find a happy place, you zen cock! I just like doing that. Stop right now! Don't meditate, you phony prick! Holy crap, this car is indestructible. The people I put in my trunk are usually dead. Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Oh, but this said up, it just said up. Tea? Never better, amigo. Uh, Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. <laughs> Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. <laughs> 
This man's going to die. Keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's <laughs> greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. Alright guys, it's the end of the Grand Theft Auto 5 series, hope you guys have enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, by the way, Francis Craft is, season 3 starts tomorrow, and I'll see you guys in the next one, as always, stay positive, bye.